Hey everyone, we have a new update here today. It's 1.2 and we're all excited. So, let's jump right into this soul storyline. As it's new, we've got new bosses, new features, new quality of life improvements. And, we're going to be pulling Bernice in the second half of that. So he's going to be around 6th Street lately for work and wants to meet. Any idea what's up? Yeah, we asked him to help us scope out commissions in the outer ring so we could track down Perlman. That's why he's here. Got time to meet him now, Bill? Sure, let's go! You're about to enter immersive storytelling. Good thing the store's pretty empty right now. I'll close up and ask him to swing by. Not long after, Shepard walks into the store. My old friends, the two Faithins. It's been a while. How have you both been lately? Am I silent? Wait a minute, am I on silent? I'm not hearing the music. Where's the music? Where's the sound? What's going on here? Should be hearing sound somehow. But I'm not. Wait, I can fix this. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Give me a minute. Just not even a minute. And connect. And connect. And should be connected. There we go. Not too bad, thanks to you. Of course, if you could get us the business we need, things would be even better. Oh dear. Well, when you say it like that, I'm not quite sure how to put the next part. It sounds like you're going to let us down. Please, hear me out. It's completely out of my hands. The city has recently beefed up security measures for the election. Not just on the main roads. They've also got people stationed on the hollow exits leading to the outer ring. Although there have always been quite a few outer ring smugglers using the hollows for transport, risks have skyrocketed recently, and most clients have given up on doing business in the city for now. Even if you find someone willing to risk it, those small fry definitely won't have what you're looking for. So you passed up on my valuable commission to do business in the outer ring. You're looking for a reliable source of intel, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Shepard. It seems to keep my old clients happy. The less I say, the better. Just take what I'm about to say as me talking to myself. If you want to gather information in the Outer Ring, try to get in with the biker gangs there. Biker gangs? The people of the Outer Ring live far apart, and the transportation of supplies relies heavily on the biker gangs. They're well respected among the residents, and nothing happens there without them knowing about it. It's unfortunate that this option is beyond the scope of my business, so this is all the help I can offer you. <sighs> well, that's all I have to say. I'll let you get back to your business. If you change your mind... Thank you. We'll think about it. See ya. We got a useful piece of intel, but it won't make finding Perlman any easier. We don't have any other choice. The outer ring is completely out of our scope of operations. Speaking of which, finding intel on Perlman has been harder and harder in the city lately. Even Fairy hasn't been able to find any useful leads. Bell, this whole thing is strange to me. What's so strange about it? Here's what I'm thinking. The outer ring might be vast and sparsely populated, but for someone to survive there, they still have to come into contact with other people. Perlman's escape caused quite a stir, and public security is looking for him. Do you think there'd be all kinds of intel on him by now? How does a living, breathing person disappear into thin air? Days earlier, not long after the airship hijacking incident, somewhere in the outer rings, old Guys, oil field. Guys, give up! It'll win! <laughs> now that's more like it, old man! If you'd spoken up sooner, we could have saved ourselves the effort. All right, any other challengers? Anyone else? Big Daddy, we got the Spark Stone. Now you can't say it's not the right time for us to join the Torrid Inferno. 
We, the sons of Caledon, are the strongest. This time, I'm gonna swipe while the iron's hot and seize the Overlord's throne. <sighs> it's strike while the iron's hot, you idiot. <laughs> the Overlord's throne, huh? Caesar, well, my opinion hasn't changed. Since you've earned the right, go test the waters. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? I'm retired. This kind of action-packed stuff should be left to the young'uns. Besides, someone's got to look after the transport business. Caesar! Big Daddy! We found something amazing over there! Oh, it's an airship! This is the first time I've seen one up close. Hey, Caesar, there's a live one over here. It's such a serious accident. This guy's lucky to be alive. I feel like I've seen this face before. It's not just any guy. This is the defendant in that vision case from the city. He's on the public security's most wanted list. <laughs> Much money! Enough to drink nitro fuel like water for the next 30 years! Enough to buy five steel tusks? <sighs> public security sure is generous. Public security? No! Don't hand me over to public security! I'm begging you! I, I know who the real mastermind is! I have evidence of their crimes! Evidence! Ugh. At this time, Actually, I'm starting play. to doubt if Perlman is even still alive. We can still rely on hand for the sacrifice investigation. But I'm afraid the Cunning Hare's lawsuit might be on hold for a while. Master, second assistant. There is an incoming call from Billy. Should I connect the call for you? Right on cue. Fairy, put the call through. Oh, manager, you're home! I just sent you a message, but you didn't reply. Sorry, I was dealing with some customers. Didn't check my phone. Manager, I have something really important to tell you, but I prefer to do it face to face. I'm at the corner behind Bardic Needle. Can you meet me there? Billy, you're close by. Why don't you just come to the store? Uh, because the vehicle I'm driving won't fit through. Ah, uh, wait. A public security officer is coming over. I gotta talk to them real quick. Hey, so I'm hanging up. I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. Billy said his car wouldn't fit through? I don't get it. They've parked here lots of times before. It seems he has something important to say. Bell, you should go meet him. Okay. Why wouldn't this car go through? Now that's kind of a weird situation. Okay, you got your car, and you always pull it in, but you can't pull it in? Oh my goodness, what is this giant stupid thing? This is huge. The sons of, oh, it's the Sons of Caledon back. Wait, he says it's his car, right? Let's check this out. Ooh, nice. Ooh. It's Cal Ooh, 750. Ooh. Oh, it's got the logo on front. Has the word "huh" on the front grill here. Oh. Take like a selfie. Selfie with the car. It's perfect selfie time. Woo. Okay, uh, this way, that way, no, this way. Selfie, selfie, selfie. Oh, wrong way. And we just turn around. Back. Ooh. Hmm, here? Maybe over like that. Oh yeah, that's a better direction. That has more light in it. Although, I am holding the camera to the right. So it's kind of... I don't know, you always want to get the headlights in there. Even just a little bit. It's just kind of the way. 
If I move the camera this way, move the whole thing that way. Oh yeah, that's like she's gonna get hit by truck gun. No truck gun, don't hit me. Ah, truck gun, spare me. I like that one. See, that's me taking a nice photo. Saving that one. Truck gun, don't do it. It's, uh, I guess it's the building. Oh, manager! That was quick! Billy? Have you left the cunning hairs? What's with the leaps and bounds truck in this bamboo? No way! I'm pretty happy with my life now. And besides, the boss hasn't paid me one denny of my bonus yet. This truck and the bamboo both belong to the Sons of Caledon, one of the Outer Ring biker gangs. The truck has a new Eridu entry pass, and recently non-residents have had to queue for a long time to get in and out of the city. So I'm helping them transport goods. After all, I used to work for them. So you know the biker gangs? Yeah, I worked for them for a while, before fate brought me to the city. Manager, we can chat about this later. I have something important to tell you. The Sons of Caledon have intel on Pearlman! Is it credible? It's solid. Their second in command told me personally. Manager, the Sons of Caledon know we're looking for Pearlman. They said they can provide exclusive intel on one condition. They want to talk business with Faith and face to face. You mean they're looking for a proxy? They didn't put it like that, but that's my guess. Manager, though we really need Pearlman for the case we're handling, Nicole said we owe you. So you have the final say on who to work with. Anyway, I'll be helping the Sons of Caledon upgrade their Bang Boo and purchase supplies in the city over the next few days. And then I'll head out to meet them. If you want to meet them face to face, you should come with me. That's where they changed Billy's voice back. He doesn't sound as cool anymore. Sounds nerdy. Uh, I gotta take a picture of Pookie. Oh my god, that. I don't really know why that's an activity instead of adding that. It's kind of nice not to have to. Bell, you're it, back. Tap that. What did Billy want to talk about? The Sons of Caledon, one of the Outer Ring biker gangs. Bell. What's your take on this? Since they need a proxy, our chances of getting info on Perlman are quite high. Right. But the Outer Ring is a wild place, and we don't know what the risks are. I'm not comfortable letting you go alone. Billy will be there too. Plus, he's still doing favors for his old boss, so they must have a pretty good relationship. Alright, I get it. The good thing is that the Outer Ring isn't under New Eridu's jurisdiction, and proxies can operate there unrestricted. So, we don't have to worry about anyone finding out that we're Faith in. Bell, you should spend the next couple of days preparing for the trip and taking care of any loose ends. That's a good thing. I've contacted Billy and told him about her decision, Bell. Are you all set for the adventure? I'm ready whenever. You're as quick as ever, Bell, but looks like we're just waiting on Billy now. Soon, the day of departure arrives. We're heading to the outer ring with Billy today, Bell. Have a safe journey. You should go meet Billy at the usual spot. While there aren't many smart devices we can utilize outside the city, Barry and I will keep an eye on you both. There you are, manager. Let's hit the road. Out of ring, here I come. Whoa. Not long. It stretches the on forever. On a high what do you ring. think, manager? The outer ring scenery is pretty nice, right? It's also super fun to drive here. But this road is too close to a hollow. And oh, look there at those are hollows. So many other 
explodes around. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. The outer ring lacks ether technology, making it hard to eliminate hollows. They can't even mine ether resources. Hey, you see that big guy over there? That machinery. Is it an oil pump? Oh, you're good. This area is called the Old Oil Field. The residents here still rely on petroleum for their livelihoods. Wait, wait, wait! What's up with that truck? Billy, turn right! Drive into the hollow! <sighs> right, oh my, right. oh my. Interesting. They actually drove into the hollow. And here I thought I'd get to see some explosive carnage. Lord Lucius, I did what you asked. Please! Spare me! Please spare me! Although the Sons of Caledon meeting their end in a hollow only earns a 61 from me, I'll let it slide this time considering your hard work. I hope that in the future you'll remember this lesson and stop meddling in things that you shouldn't. The second in command of the Vanquishers colluding with an Aether Corporation in the city? That's not a joke you should make lightly. straight for us was terrifying we only made it thanks to your quick thinking and the vehicle isn't totaled but we've fallen into a hollow now what's our next move just before we fell into the hollow i sent a distress signal to wise he'll find a way to help us from the outside that's great it's a relief to hear that right manager both of you have a special condition that means you can't be in the hollow for too long right don't worry. There's anti-corruption serum in the truck that I helped buy, as well as some discarded hollow data piles from the city. Billy, that's our way out of the hollow. There must be a carrot in the Sons of Caledon's Bangboo, plus the new data from the data piles. Oh, that's right! You're a proxy! You can calculate a path out of the hollow! All right, let's get to work installing the data piles! Data piles, yay. Let's go, manager. I've got the data piles. Okay, installing three should be enough. Please don't tell my you only got a MPUs. Oh. Must have been drawn in by the data piles. Alright, well. Don't worry, manager. I'll handle them. Yeah, well, we're right. This is gonna be a while. I do not have a Billy to level up. Is it use my Billy or their Billy? Is it use my Billy or Todd's Billy? It's my turn! Oh, get him, Red Mocus. Got one installed! Yeah, get ring. My ring. Manager, right. let's go to the next right. location. Right now. Oh. That's done. Here we go. Okay, that's, uh... Need more. Oh, I guess I see... Oh, hello, mini truck. Daddy! More ethereals. And they seem tougher than the last ones. Manager, find some place safe to take cover. Yeah, my sort of Can I leave you this way? 
Does that go out of the circle? Oh, there's more now. And they're in the circle. Right. Silly, I'm getting too close to the middle. Ooh, that red mocus really does not matter. Chickle physics. <laughs> That's funny. Perfect block is triggered right after an enemy attacks the team. Wait, yeah, special attack, power counter, uh -huh, or perform a shield strike to trigger interrupts. So block the incoming damage and counter the shield strike. Okay, pressing special attack allows you to activate EX special for a shield bash without consuming any energy. Interrupt during the activation of an enemy skill, hitting enemies with attack. Alright, boys! Let's get to it! Show me what you got, bro. No, it's a little pin round spin up! Oh, you really must be feeling confident today. Hey. No, nah, it's attack. just that I can't get a reinforcement oh. on anything over 10. You rule! Victory's mine! Get the counter, there we go, that's the one. Yeah, 
So that's the shield interrupt strike. Right I like that. That's nice. And it gives you two options for um. And you know, a lot of the bosses don't really have large amounts of chain attacks. <laughs> but they do, you know what? They do have attacks you can counter. If been a few seconds like later, the foliage hunt, Nineveh. Nineveh has a, at like 11 stage attacks. Don't worry, big you block sis. it, would it interrupt it? <laughs> Brother, you have nowhere to run, but you've still got a mouth on you. Liner, you just don't know me well enough. My body is made out of enhanced materials now. Forget about ethereals. Even Nicole wouldn't dare hit me barehanded. <sighs> oh, so you mean you're literally made out of tough stuff? So, big sis, lighter, how did you end up here? Oh, I got a strange call earlier from a young guy. He sounded terrified and said you fell into this hollow. So it was the deputy manager. Lucy thought it might be a trick, but the intel he gave about you was flawless. And he even laid out a rescue route. Oh, so this is the legendary proxy, huh? Who'd have thought? Thanks. You arrived just in time. Uh... Hey, proxy! What's wrong? Manager! Manager! Stay with me! Quick! We gotta get out of here! I'm some of the blame for this accident as well. We, the sons of Caledon, must honor our guests with the finest funeral! Lighter, you will be carrying the coffin. That's a heavy responsibility. <laughs> we'll need to keep the hearse driving steady. Piper! Busy. Got it. I'll make sure it's a smooth thing. Bernice! Of course, you'll be handling the cremation. You got it! Just gotta burn everything to misery! <sighs> Lucy! L Lucy? Mm, yeah. Can you all stop goofing around? <laughs> Don't be upset. It's not every day we get to have fun with the cremation ceremony. You don't have fun at our guest expense! Bernice! Put away the flamethrower! Now! You guys are driving me crazy! Belle, how are you feeling? Are you hurt? Sorry, sorry. We got a little carried away. Welcome to the Outer Ring! May you rise from the ashes! Huh? It seems like she's in charge. Nathan! Who would have thought you'd both end up here all because of an accident? Must have scared you back then, huh? <laughs> I don't think they held you that pose really long enough. Thief. So that makes us friends. They could have really shown them off there. Maybe a couple of seconds more. That would have been nice. Like they could have put a whole introduction with like letters across the heads. Like, this is Bernice, that's Lighter, this is Caesar, that's Lucy, way in the back there. They could have put the words way in the back there. That would have been so funny. They could have stylized each of the names, you know? Just like, okay, Bernice is Red Fiery. Lucy is, has like the pig on the side, or isn't like pig colors. You know, like cool things like that. They could have made, uh, Lighter's gold emblem because he has the gold kind of apparatus for his fire fist. Could have made Caesar's color uh, yeah. be like her hair color. We've been partners in crime for a while now. <laughs> Time for Could a have had the border be like the color of her shield. We're the sons of Caledon, a biker gang from the Outer Ring. I'm the current boss, Caesar. Billy should have already told you why we invited you. The sons of Caledon need a favor from you. As for Pearlman, his airship crashed here in the outer ring during landing. 
He's lucky to be alive. But he's badly injured and hasn't woken up yet. What? You mean, you have Perlman? Yeah. Wait, didn't Lucy tell you? Don't worry, we'll make sure he heals up. And once he's awake, we'll hand him over is to you. Your uh, wait, <laughs> are you stupid? Negotiations haven't even started, and you already handed over such an important bargaining chip? Negotiations? Bargaining chip? No waiting. Lucy, again with the pettiness. This kind of manipulation and leveraging? Uh uh. That's not very overlordy. Yeah. Easy for you to say. I worked my butt off to keep this info under wraps just for today. We can't strike a deal with Satan. Where do you expect me to find a reliable proxy for the Tor de Inferno? The Tor de Inferno is our business. I never planned to count on anyone else. Don't worry, proxy. You coming to the outer ring is a sign of respect. Even if you don't agree to help us, I won't go back on my word about Perlman. Caesar, we appreciate your kindness. But as they say, no work, no reward. Wise is right. Actually, we only came today hoping to get a bit of information on Perlman. We could never have expected what you're offering. Since you've been so honest with us, we'll do everything we can to help you. <laughs> Straight to the point! I like it! Can you relax a little now, Lucy? Thanks, Faithen. Your willingness to help will be huge for us. Can you give us more details about the commission? The Tor Inferno we mentioned just now. That's what we need your help with, Proxy. This is the biggest event in the old oil field. Only the strongest squads of bikers can compete. The test in the hollow to find out who's the best. Caesar, there's no way they'll get it when you put it like that. Let me explain. Simply put, the Tor Inferno is an off-road motorbike race that crosses through a hollow. Only two it's the teams test for the best. And the rules are simple. The first team to cross the hollow, reach the finish point at Cinderglow Lake, and throw a spark stone into the lake wins. Cool. What's the purpose of such a dangerous race? The purpose oh, of the Tor Inferno is, is to something? regularly ensure the safety of our oil resources. Ooh. After all, oil is the lifeblood of the old oil shipping field. Shipping container? Oh. Naturally, for us biker gangs, the Tor Inferno also serves another purpose. The winner of the race becomes Overlord of the Old Oil Field Motor League. That's right, Faison. The Overlord is recognized as the top dog of the Motor League. The current Overlord's faction is called the Vanquisher. And their boss held the title for years. Oh, I've been itching to challenge him for a while now. I see. Lofty aspirations. <laughs> oh, Caesar. If all you think about is shallow stuff like that, it won't be long before the sons of Caledon are mine. But People are gunning for the Overlord spot for more than just becoming the top dog. Huh? We're not some school kids hooked on fighting manga. The future of the oil industry and the old oil field relies on the support of the Motor League in every sense of the word. And as the leader of the Motor League, the Overlord is in charge of assigning transport groups. That means they hold real, tangible power. For the past six months, the Vanquishers have only given us the worst route. Ugh, they're definitely messing with us behind our backs. But when I went to confront them, that smug second-in-command Lucius just said, The Overlord and is well, a like second time I've heard right that word now, used. and the roots are decided at random. Game. Hmm, speaking of the Overlord, he hasn't been seen for half a year. Who knows what he's been doing? But Lucy, what are you afraid of? Even if the roots aren't great, with our skills, it's nothing we can't handle. Besides, you're just mad because there's nowhere to buy makeup and snacks on these roots. Shut up, Caesar! Didn't we agree you wouldn't criticize me in front of guests? Huh. You call that criticism? It's the truth. 
And you're the one who's always calling me an idiot. You think I don't have you any man, bro. <laughs> you ruin one's plans each time you open your mouth and expect me to praise you? Yeah, yeah. Lady Lucy Montefio, I ruined your plans. <laughs> Are you forgetting who's the one who was so excited about meeting the legendary proxies that she couldn't sleep all night? Ooh, uh, enough, I challenge you to a duel. Today's the day for the sons of Caledon to change hands. <laughs> Bring it on. Then we'll see who's scared. Later. Come here and be the judge. What? You didn't get enough sleep. Are they gonna be okay? Well, it's fine, Proxy. Don't worry. This is a two or three times a day kind of thing. Yeah, it's no big deal. Uh... Just don't get roped into being the referee, or you might end up on the wrong side of both of them. Anyway, Proxies, it's great to have your help with the Tour Day Inferno. Let's give it our best shot. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, yes. I guess the station is closed, but it's totally safe here as long as it's not far from town. What about Perman? Oh, you mean that fugitive, right? Just like Caesar said, his airship crashed in the outer ring. We found him. We were about to hand him over to public security for a reward. But before he passed out, he kept yelling something like, Someone else is behind all this. And I've got proof. So we kept him. I suspect Roman knows something. Oh, your expression tells me that he has said must be important to you. Good to know. Relax. Only we know that he's with us, and we stashed him in a secure spot for treatment. What about Caesar and Lucy? Well, they're gonna be fighting for a little bit longer, I'm afraid. But don't worry about it. They usually duke it out for it or anyway, so they won't disrupt your sleep. Uh, I hope that's not what I was meaning to say. Yeah, they fight and make up in a flash, even quicker than Steel Tusk's engine needs gas. Alright, let's save the chit chat for tomorrow and catch some seas today. You must be big. Young guns need to get some sleep to grow health healthy. After a long day. We took the Sons of Caledon's generous offer and stayed overnight in place for the next morning. I'm surprised how well I slept in a new place. I must have been exhausted yesterday. Now my eyes feel way better after a good night's rest. I wonder if I slept well. It took him a week to get used to a new pillow last time. Oh, the road down. Ooh. If only we could drive on all of them. Travel from one place to the next, collecting resources along the wide open area. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Lever boo. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, open the lever. Pull the lever trunk. I got I got too many YouTube shorts about that. Oh why is there nothing here? Nothing here. Why is there why is there a whole thing up that I'm supposed to go up here? Park her onto the roof. It's a waste. Ooh, cargo truck. Ooh, it's over here. Okay, it's the road. Oh, they stopped ya. A little bit of... 
container placed there. Oh, there's a bolter. Let me bolt out here. Oh, 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 oh. I got tumbleweed. Tumble I got tumbleweed. I got two tumbleweeds. Tumbleweed action. I want tumbleweed. Who's going to win? Who's going to be the, the fierce, fiercest young one? Come to the ring. Will they succeed? Will he have enough power to overthrow the reigning champion? Mr. Big Tumbleweed! Tumbleweed doesn't take a hard hit. Big Tumbleweed goes into little one. He's putting, really pulling the pressure using his weight to his advantage. His size is really pulling his weight. <laughs> and here comes the third Tumbleweed turning in the fray. Who could have expected this unexpected turn? <laughs> but... <laughs> hey, it's the sage. What if the sage was just the tumbleweed? Maybe it would be Yanu Sage. Not much here. Can I talk to you? No? I cannot talk to you. What about you? Can I talk to you? No, I can't talk to you. Can't talk to you like a go Oh, I'm gonna put them in the in the gotta put them up on the top shelf. That's what I gotta do. Yeah. I gotta put these on the vent. No, the, the lever. The lever house. And then bring them upstairs. All three. Sorry, but this is just how I am, and this is a fun, fun play stream at the moment. I'm thinking I might have to edit and cut this video for editing this part out because I'm not sure a lot of people would be have fun with this. Like I have fun. With this. I do. I'm, I'm kind of having a bit of fun with this. If it's too broad over here. I gotta somehow get them on this. I gotta get close. So go in. This is, this whole thing is ramped up. Okay. Here, straight up. Go. I don't know if he's going to go up. That's the thing. He might actually not even be able to transition to the that thing. A little, I mean, I want to try a little one, see if the little one can get up there. Okay, position it. Just right. Uh, it kind of bounces off. But I might have hit the side. Come on, come on. Oh! <gasps> Would you look at that? Let's see if we can pull that. <gasps> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? It goes up! This is the most exciting thing I've come across in a long time. This is even better than the shark ball at 6th Street. Look at this, and it's, it's like a goalpost there. Wait, where can this go to? Where can I bring this? Come on, little, come on, little pal. You're my little pal today. You're my little dust pal. Oh, look, it's your buddy. Finally, away from the fighting, the two lovers reunite at last. Ha -ha. Sorry, but a bit of it is a bit of ADHD to be happening there. It's harder to get those things up than it is to get those things down. So, getting them up, there must be some achievement <laughs> or something. Although, there probably is. I would like there to be, though. I, I don't think I found every last crate. I'm gonna try to find. Oh, I see one. I think that could be the last crate. I searched everywhere else. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna just stop the video here and then just, just put. Kind of a you know, 
separation in the video. And then I'll continue it on in a quick moment. So stay tuned and be sure to watch the next video.